as days passes by And most long for a place that they never find I'm afraid I wake up when I die And it is too late to climb any mountain Time is up the ends Hey you guys, what is up? Welcome back to the show. Okay, so today is a very important and special video. So two years ago, we filmed a video on a custom three-wheeled trike uh, that blew up. It is our most viewed video of all time. Out of all the Japanese cars we filmed, Adam's custom trike was our most viewed. It is our most viewed episode to date. Now here today, we are at AMT Machine Shop and Fab. This is Adam's new shop here in Vancouver. And I've been getting a lot of emails, we've been getting a lot of messages over the years. What is going on with Adam? What is he doing? What is next? Where is the trike? All these questions and more <laughs> will be answered today. So let's go in the shop and talk to Adam. Hello, I'm Adam Trinder and welcome to my shop. This is AMT, Machine and Fabrication Shop. At this location, I've been here for approximately six months, but I've been in business in Greater Vancouver for the last almost 20 years. So the variety of cars I've been working on currently in this location, I've had a 19 30 pre-war Bentley that I've been helping uh, restore for a buddy of mine and this ongoing project here which is a 1975 Datsun 280Z uh, basically tube frame the front end um, RB26 twin turbo motor is getting built right now that's going in there Pandem wide body kit Enki wheels uh, just a bunch of high-end parts going on this car um, it's been a year in the process, uh, just got painted a couple months ago now and looking forward to getting the engine in the car and fire it up, but that's one of the bigger projects I've worked on. Um, and then there's the miscellaneous jobs that I get coming in, I've got a guy just came in with some brake rotors for a BMW 2002 that needs the hubs machine to fit inside the rotor because he's doing a, a disc brake conversion on the rear. Um, and on another ongoing project, I'm helping my guys out here next door with a custom Mini that's uh, going to be K20 mid-engine rear-wheel drive, which will be a fun car. So the kind of projects that I like to work on are projects where the customer has an end goal of what he wants, but I kind of get a bit of free reign to do my fabrication side of things. Like on this car here, he. He knows what he wants, and the tube framing of the front end, it's all my idea. I, I designed all that, and um, some of the bits on the Mini we're working on, like the rear control arms on that, it, it, it's a trade-off between what they want, what can be done, and, and how to make something work that's strong, but eye-pleasing and functional as well. So some of the previous bigger jobs car-wise that I've, I've done, um, there's my current car, which there'll probably be a video soon, is a ZX Kawasaki-powered mid-engine Mini. Um, there's the trike that I'm sure all of you have seen the video for. Uh, we got our Datsun rally car that we use for off-road rally racing. Um, Toyota Corolla A86s with S2000 swaps. Back in the day, I did like five of those within a year. Like those were the thing back in the day. Weird things where just engine swaps, crazy weird engine swaps and stuff like that is, is things I like to do. That's, yeah, that's where it's at. So getting on the subject of the trike, I think, I mean, ever since that video came out, I had a flood of emails and, and calls of people wanting plans so they could build it or wanting to buy it. And well, 
quite frankly, I built that as a one-off, just something for the shop to showcase the shop. And I never had the idea of building more of those. I don't want to get into the run of the mill, like cookie cutter, all I'm doing is this. I want to be spread out. I want to do a bunch of different things, which is why I never really took that on as a build multiples of it type thing. Um, talking about it, I recently did sell it and that trike is now somewhere in the Middle East in Qatar, <laughs> which is fitting because that seems to be where all the cool things go. I think that video blew up online, went pretty viral because of the raw aspect of the vehicle and the fact that you don't really see things like that driving on the street and, and to see something street legal in a video just kind of brings things home to some people that they can put their mind to something, they can build something and they can get it legitimately put on the road and have some fun. So the trike, when I built it, had its own set of hurdles when I built it because the BC Ministry of Transport did not have any guidelines whatsoever for a vehicle that was three-wheeled, that was not quite a motorcycle, it was motorcycle powered. And since there was no category for it, we kind of had to make one. So I worked with the two head guys at the BC Ministry of Transportation and we made a category in BC for three-wheeled vehicles. Um, it took six months of paperwork to get it put through. It got inspected by the head inspector of BC. And now, like, you can go out and get a Can-Am Spider or, or Polaris Slingshot and you can drive it on the street. And, well, that all came from my trike from 10 years ago <laughs> when we put all that through. So, yeah, it was a lot of work, but it was worth it in the end. So I built my Mini because I wanted something that was pretty raw, fast, small, lightweight. Um, so I went with the ZX-10R Kawasaki Ninja motor, um, mid-mounted behind the seats. It's got a firewall in the, inside. Um, and it handles pretty darn good. Each year we do a pretty fun event called the Spring Thaw where we get like 70 other classic cars and we go all through the interior. And I pretty much built it to have fun doing that event and doing some other events around town. It's an experience to drive. It's, it's loud. Um, it's not necessarily loud outside, but it's loud inside with a Kawasaki engine behind your head screaming to 13,000 RPM. Yeah, you got to wear plugs in that thing. Um, sequential shift, no reverse, which is fun. So you got to be looking ahead at to where you're going to park and, and what you're going to do because you stick your foot out the door to make it go backwards. It's definitely an experience and I'm sure Marcus is going to have some fun in that car soon. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I like to build cars that are, are functional, um, that you can use it and you can use all of it. You, you want to be able to use all the power you have. This will have 550 horsepower. You can use 550 horsepower. Cars that have 1,000 horsepower, you can't use 1,000 horsepower. It's pretty much impossible. My Mini has 185 horsepower, but it's lightweight. It revs high. It's all it needs. It's, it's fast. It's super fun. Um, if I were to put 300 horsepower in that, it's too much. It, it, it wouldn't be fun anymore. So. I knew what I wanted to do at a really young age and I was fortunate enough to have a little machine in my father's garage and I could tinker and I, I, I self-taught pretty much everything and I only really went to school to get a certificate so I could stick it on the wall and be legit. But for me, I didn't learn much more than what I already knew when I went through that program. But I mean, it's different for everybody. Some people will go through the program and, and learn a bunch and not be able to do it. Other people will go through the program, learn a bunch and be really damn good. 
So I am a machine and fab shop, but I mean, automotive and motorbikes, it's not everything that I do. Um, there's all sorts of other things that I fabricate, uh, store fixtures, like staircases, uh, railings, like a bunch of different stuff. So I'm not just focused on one thing, but um, this is the stuff that I enjoy the most is, is working on the cars and tinkering with those and yeah, spending time and making cool stuff. <laughs>